Just thanks for joining me once again. This time through, we're going to talk about uh, and get over the rain in the background we have going on here. Uh, I want to talk a little bit more about the forums and the groups. So we're still on the net topic of networking. Let's see if I need to move this around just a little bit. Still on the topic of networking, and under the networking tab, cursor over, we have our drop-down menu. Um, we'll talk first about forums. Forums are like discussion areas. They're like a uh, the cooler in the in the uh, in the office cooler where everybody goes to get their coffee or their water. And it's a chance for you to have um, casual and um, conversations with other people to get their opinions on stuff, uh, to ask questions, to learn from each other, to provide um, information for other people. So let me straighten this thing out. Actually, before we do that, let's look over here to the right once again. We have the um, graphic question mark to help you. Uh, in the future, should you forget how to use pieces of this. Um, down the left side over here are the main topics that we've created. Those could change over time. We could add, we could delete, depending on how everybody ends up using them. Um, inside of those primary topics are, I guess they're secondary topics or subcategories that are created by the various fitness professionals in the community. That whatever they want to talk about may come in here. And when you click on one of those and you open it up you can see the date of when it was posted and um, how the conversation went between the poster the next person that came in um, and spoke and then back to the poster again so it can be a conversation between two people that it's just you know reply to each time or it can be between a hundred people that all come in and everybody's commentary ends up um, in a nice long line discussion um, if you wanted to add a comment specifically to this you just come right up this top into the forum line and click to add a comment to, the, to this area. Let's go back. Let's go. Well, actually, let's. Okay, we'll go back one more. And let's just say we wanted to add personal trainers has been quiet. If we wanted to go in the personal trainer category, nobody's been talking about anything at this time at this point inside of there. So we want to add our own topic, and we could come through simply click add a topic, and. Um, can tile that. We could come below and we could enter whatever commentary we want about an article that we saw, and then we can go to the bottom. So I click in. There we go, and we can post the topic. So now this topic just you, we just uh, did this together, and when we did it together, um, what it did was it just posted our commentary into the forum, and when we come back to the personal trainers area, we can see that our test topic has been um, put in place, we can see the date that it was done, um, and now others, including anybody in the entire community, can come over and comment on what we've had to say. So forums are powerful, they're, they're all over the internet, they've been around for many years, um, many sites you are, it's, you, you don't even, you're not allowed to even look at, <laughs> uh, read the forums without being a uh, a vested member into a community because these are the, some of the most powerful things in here as we start putting our minds together. So I encourage you to take a look, consider um, posting uh, questions, that you, commentary that you may have, um, and just take advantage of it. The groups, on the other hand, are not for the entire community. These are for more for closed communities. These could be everybody who works at the same place or all the trainers in, in California could make their own group. If we wanted to have tennis coaches on the East Coast, they could do that. You could have all Zumba instructors um, or Zumba instructors in a certain county. You can make a group up over any specific topic that you want. And then the administrator, the person who did create that group, has the ability, everybody requests to join the group through that person. And they can choose to accept you or deny you. Maybe they only want PhD dog groomers to come into their group. And therefore, if you don't have that certificate, they're going to tell you no. Um, that can happen. Inside the groups, you have the abilities to um, communicate just people inside that group. You have a, um, the ability to see who all the group members are and, and connect specifically with those people that same interest with you. Um, the bulletin board allows you to talk to the entire group. So there's some tools here that um, as a group, if you are a company um, and you have all your employees in there, you can do some, some real work from within the group. If you're, a, uh, if you're networking and trying to find subs for your classes with people in your area, and so maybe you have a group fitness instructor, group fitness instructors of Snohomish County, and you have as you know how many people we have from that area that sign into that thing. Um, you can all communicate together and work together for certain projects to be subs to to whatever is important to you. So 
there's a lot of uses, a lot of ways to put the groups together. Um, Fit Bodies is starting to use them with the travel programs, so some of their resorts have their own groups. And so if you have a strong interest in a particular location, um, you can join that group and get the most up-to-date information from that. Um, so if you, based on your account level, will tell you how many groups you can or cannot create and take advantage of being the administrator. Um, and then also based on your account level, tells you how many um, groups you may join um, and be part of and participate in. Um, I encourage you either way to take advantage of the groups. Um, it's another opportunity where we learn from each other, where we have a chance to collaborate and network. And this whole site has been built in a lot of ways to help us collaborate and learn from each other, make our traveling, you know, the, the, the working vacation more enjoyable by knowing more about where we're heading before we head there, and as well as to help us in our professional lives. So um, take advantage of the groups. I encourage you to do it. And if you have any other questions, you can always get back in touch with us. We're more than happy to answer them. So take care and make it a great day.